Today we're going to make the train assembly. First thing I'm going to do is bring in my parts. Now if you don't have all of your parts on your computer, you need to do that. Some of you have been working in a team, so you need to now download from your Google folder. So I'm going to bring in my first train block and I'm going to click one of them. All I need is one, so I'm going to right click OK. And then I'm going to right click and hit ground. It's about three quarters of the way down your list. I'm going to place and I'm going to bring in four wheels. So I'm going to click the wheel and one, two, three, and four. Right click and do OK. And let's constrain those. So the way I'm going to constrain it is with a mate. I'm going to do this back one first. So I'm going to click on the surface here and then swing it around and click on there. And you'll notice there's not any space between there for us to move. So I want to use the offset and go 0 0.025 inches, hit apply. You can see there's space now for it to move. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the line the center up. And if I kind of hover around it, you'll see a red dotted dash line for our center line show up. I'm going to click that. And then as I move towards the block, another circle pops up, and that shows me where the center of the uh, hole is on the block. So that'll help me line it up. Now I'm going to do that three more times. Don't forget to create your offsets. So there's on one. I can right click on there and go to edit. 0 0.025. Next I'm going to bring in is the stack. Right click OK. I'm going to constrain that and I'm going to use the insert and I want that bottom part to be lined up with that bottom part of the circle hit apply and I can't move it alright where I can move the wheels next thing I'm going to bring in is the cow catcher right click OK and I'm going to again use the insert insert there with right there. If I hit escape, it would be able to roll that around. So let's use again the insert. And now I got to get behind and underneath. Apply and that won't move, so that's fully constrained. Let's go ahead and bring in the linkage arm. I'll need two of those. Right-click OK. And I'm going to use the uh, mate. And I'm going to put here onto right here, hit apply, and I'm going to pull it off so that I can constrain the center, so there's my center line on the other center line. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. 
center line with center line apply and you can see that'll move the wheels do the same thing So I'm going to have that one going straight up, I'm rotate around, I'm going to get this one going down, and now let's make it flush, and I'm going to use this inside edge with the inside edge there. And now when I move one of these, it should move the other. There we go. Cool. Let's bring in some more parts. Let's bring in the linkage peg. Need four of those. One, two, three, four. Right click OK. We're going to constrain those with inserts. So the insert we want is we want that small space is going to be for the linkage arm, which is right there. Hit apply. And you can see it fits right there. If I hit escape, it's not going anywhere. It is fully constrained in there. So you need to do that three more times. Let's bring in four axle pegs. Right click OK, constrain those the same way you just did your other peg with the insert. And then you want the bottom part of the axle peg. Fits just like that. All right, do that three more times with the insert. We're going to the center of the circle. Hit apply. Then I believe we only have two more parts. So let's bring in the hitch magnet. You need one of those for the back side. Right click and OK. Revolve that around. And let's constrain and mate the back side with this part. And we're going to want to line that up. So again, we'll constrain. And we'll find the center line and the center line. And hit apply. And now place the hitch peg. I'm going to put that back there also. So I'm going to bring in one of those, right click OK, hit the constraint, and we want to use the insert and the center of that. going to be right there with the center line there. Click apply. And that's how it looks. Should be all done with your train. Nothing should get pulled off. The only thing that should move are the linkage arms with the wheels. And you see the other side working there too. Um, you can check on your constraints. You can see all the constraints over here. If you 
hit the plus sign on all your parts. If you need to edit, edit any of them, you can uh, right click and go to edit, or you can always delete one of them. The nice thing about these is also when you when you click on them, it shows you what is what. So for example, on the train block, when I click on this insert, it's highlighting it right here and it's telling us that's the insert for the stack.